added air assist to my Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro. I'm going to show you what I did coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. Sitting in front of me here is my Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro, and I've added air assist to it. And we're going to talk about what I did, and I'll show you what I did, and where to get some of the parts. Okay, I raised the shield all the way up so you could kind of see the uh, air assist nozzle that's on there. This is something I downloaded from Thingiverse and 3D printed, and I will be a link for it in the description. That's this part right down here. It you got to fiddle with it a little bit, uh, maybe do just a little bit of minor reaming on the inside to make it fit tight. Then there is a place to put a three millimeter set screw in to hold it on the lens. Uh, works perfect. Up here on the top, there's a little guide to hold the air hose. That too is uh, downloaded from Thingiverse and I'll put a link in the description for that. My air hose I ran, I have not yet put a drag chain on here. I did upgrade the uh, Z-axis to the little thumb screw turn thing here, which works excellent. This wire guide is not for this laser, but uh, it is for something else, and I don't remember exactly what. It did take a little bit of modification, but it does hold the line, air line and everything up in the way so it doesn't get down on my work. I routed the air tube through a drag chain, however the stock drag chain wasn't really big enough, so I replaced this with a little bit bigger drag chain. This is a 10 millimeter by 20 millimeter drag chain, and there will be a link in the description for that. This came from Amazon, it was not expensive. The air pump you see over here, this is uh, also come from Amazon, it's called Pawfly. Uh, it's a aquarium air pump, I have one on my Atom Stack A5 Pro, uh, worked excellent, so I got one for this. Uh, it does have enough air capacity. I theoretically could probably have run both lasers off of it, but both lasers aren't always necessarily next to each other. The addition of the air assist has made a huge difference in engraving. I primarily do engraving. I don't do cutting. Uh, most of the time I'm engraving on western red cedar which gives me a nice good dark burn and I was able to not only increase my speed with the air assist but I was able to decrease the, no the power. Uh, it does do a good job of blowing the soot out of the uh, engraving and when I get done at the end any little soot that uh, is around the outside of that blows off easily with an air hose. Prior to putting the air assist on I would have to do a little bit of sanding because there would be some scorching. This prevents that scorching. So what speed am I running here? 4,000 millimeters per minute, 70% power. Graving on the half inch thick, western red cedar. One of the things you'll see here is, uh, you can see where it blows the soot out, instead of scorching around the letters. This is a big time saver because I would always have to sand a little bit with some 220 to get that uh, scorching oil off. Here with, uh, although it does blow some of that soot out, I could take an air hose, blow that off, and it's ready for coating. So has the air assist made a difference? Yes, it's made a huge difference. And I first noticed that when I put my Atom Stack A5 together. Um, I put air assist on it as I build it. And I noticed right away that on the signs that I was engraving, I no longer had to do any of that sanding. Just blow them off and they're ready for coating. And it was a huge time saver. So I decided to do the same thing to this. Uh, as I said I, earlier, I don't do any actual cutting, I just do engraving. But even on engraving tiles, and I have done well over a hundred, well, hundreds of tiles. And putting that air assist even on with that, I could crank my speed up. I was originally running at uh, 400 millimeters per minute. Once I went to air assist on the tiles, I could go to 500 millimeters per minute. Uh, somewhat of a time saver. So yes, it does make a big difference. Uh, here again, yeah, I got to blow a little soot off when I'm done, but there's no sanding. And a little poop with the air hose, ready to coat them. Okay, I'm going to show two examples here of uh, with and without air assist. And it's not the same sign, but you're going to be able to get the idea 
on this one here this has not been sanded yet you'll see that like next to the bottle here there's some scorching and next to my gnome up here we got a little scorching next to the gnome's bottle we got some scorching so that'll need to be sanded with 220 and then we'll blow that off and then it'll get coated now this sign here this was just something I did for fun uh, you'll notice there's no scorching at all and this was done with air assist um, on this laser so all I need to do here is just blow a little bit of sawdust off of that and give it a coating uh, like I said this one here was just for fun because this sign by cap was to be cupped so I just thought something I could sell but I just did this for fun I'll probably hang this here in the shop another thing that the air assist has really helped with is keeping your project from catching on fire and yes that's happened I'm going to show you an example here uh, before I use the air assist. Uh, I've got this particular sign here. I'm going to give you a close-up on it. I'll show you what happened. And it happened a couple times as I was making it. But since I uh, switched to the air assist, this does not happen. See on here, it burned out the middle of, this, of the O. That actually caught fire in there. And over here on the D, this actually caught fire. With the air assist, it tends to just blow that out. And I don't have this burnout like I do in the middle of my A, on my O, on my D here. And I have another one of these when it was actually engraving the beer mug. The whole corner of the board caught fire and I had to shut everything down. So this makes a huge difference. So there it is. Air assist. No scorching. Just blew the soot off of it. Good to go. So that's how I did the air assist on my Ortura Laser Master 2 Pro. Uh, if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Once again, uh, the different parts and pieces and patterns and things I use, uh, the 3D printed things, will all be done in the description. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.